up you guys welcome to a new video on the channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys all my consoles i have as of the year 2022 uh it's not that big of a collection but if i want to state something right now is that i hope that in the future my collection does grow i want to include some retro systems at least one maybe the nes or snes those are the priorities or i just hope to get uh, a mini system I hope to get the new Sega Genesis Mini, uh, the second one. There's like a second edition coming out. Uh, my goal is to get that and also see in the future if I could get the NES or SNES Classic. So if you see this future me, uh, I hope that you did get the systems. If not, then I need to work on that. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it. So the first system we're going to start off with is the Wii. Uh, this is the... Uh, the Wii that supports GameCube, as you can tell from the GameCube slots. Uh, I don't know what happened to the top. I think it's two tops. I need to buy a replacement for sure because a lot of dust does for sure will get inside. Uh, I've had this Wii since around 2010. I think that's when I got it. Uh, it was a Mario Kart Wii bundle, which has a black Wii wheel and it came with Mario Kart Wii physical as well. And I think this is like one of the cleanest consoles of the Wii. Uh, I really like how usually you don't see the black one being the GameCube edition. I think you, this was like one of the last versions of the the normal edition that supported backwards compatibility with the GameCube. And next console I have right here is a Nintendo Switch. Uh, this is the OLED model which I got last year in October when it came out. Uh, I made a video about it but I never actually went in full detail on the console and overall I'm very happy with the OLED model I think that's one of my favorite ones so far uh, I'm not sure if I want to get the Splatoon one I'm in between if I either return this one since I do have warranty for it so I might just like return it and like pay the extra fee for exchanging it for the Splatoon one because the Splatoon one looks really clean in my opinion but the other thing is that I also want to change it for the white OLED model since I really like the white the white dock and I feel like it would go well with the desk but at the same time I don't because this one goes very well with the black Wii and I'm very happy with the OLED model uh is it my primary console now uh yes recently I got a 400 gigabyte SD card which is the reason why I was still going back to my old switch which I do have which is the 2017 edition which I got at launch actually funny enough I have two switches well I used to have two the first one was the one I got uh, in 2017, launch week, when it was super hard to find the Switch. Uh, I got it as a gift from school, funny enough. So basically, I got the Switch for free. And then after that, uh, <laughs> luckily, we bought warranty for it. So the Switch fell one day when we were like walking somewhere. I'm, I don't recall very well, but I just fell and one of the Joy-Cons cracked. So we decided to change it and we got the red and blue Joy-Con one which is the one I currently have and but now that I think about it I still have the OG OG console like the OG system from 2017 so ever so if I ever want to like hack it I could do that but I feel like it's going to ruin the experience so far maybe I'll do it in the future whenever the system like goes down or like they stop selling it but overall I'm very proud with the 17 one I think the only problem is the battery which is makes sense but i like the oled model overall i like the new screen i feel like people don't appreciate it and let's move on into the other systems i have so the other systems i have is the 3ds the 2ds to be exact the nintendo 2ds xl uh, i got this one last year if you guys remember i got it in january 2021 and the reason i got this one was because the 3ds had already stopped selling at the time and i'm all, and I'm all like I better get the game the system now before it's too late and it's like overly re expensive and i got it for around 200 dollars which was pretty expensive but overall i'm pretty happy because it didn't include a game and it wasn't it was basically a new system basically and so far it is worth the price in my opinion uh, i have gotten a few games for it i'll show it off in the next video in the future if you guys want to see all my 3ds games and also let me know if you guys want to see all my wii games as well and the last one even though i don't really consider it is the game and watch 
this is the one, uh, this is the Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch, which came out in 2020. I got it for Christmas, and you guys won't believe what happened, but I have two of these now. I got one for Christmas last year, or this Christmas, the most recent one, see? So I have two now, and here's the OLED and the OG 2017 box from launch day, or launch week. This one's also from launch week, which is pretty amazing, actually, how... I, I threw away the other box, but I kept this one instead because I know that that box is like pretty iconic. And funny enough, I didn't have any games for the Switch until April. So I had like a whole month without games. Another thing that I have here are a few stuff from my system. Here's the black Wii wheel I mentioned, which came included with Mario Kart Wii. Also the nunchuck. And I, I also, the black Wii remote sadly stopped working. And that's a bad thing. Well guys, thanks for watching and let me know if you guys want to see those other videos I mentioned and thank you.